Apex was the driving force behind this project getting off the ground. His ability to bring people together, his attention to detail, his work ethic, his collaborative spirit, bringing certain nuances to his characters that no one else does. He was the perfect person to bring this character to life. Playing this complicated man who has lost this world and is out there in the cosmos trying to see if there's another home out there for him and his people. This journey brings him into contact with U800, someone who might not be who he seems. This journey brings him into contact with Bintu, a friend who might be a foe. Ultimately, it's his journey and his relationship with these people that informs where the story goes. Your people, why is it that they destroyed your land? It didn't start that way. Yet, in a sense, you could say it was our destiny from the beginning. To make a film like this, it goes without saying that you need the best of the best. And getting Nashoka to come in and bring Bean to, to life for us was such a wonderful seismic shift in the process of the production. Her character is such a warrior and yet sort of has a little bit of tenderness. Now brought so much into the role, you know, and also a lot of goodwill and camaraderie with the cast and crew on set, sort of, you know, picking up everybody's spirits, you know, doing her own stunts, even the hard ones that we had to force her to let the stand double do every now and then. It's, a, it's such a compelling piece and the work on it is so great that we use this film. Every story has a villain and for us U800 is a very particular type of villain I would say. The last son of Earth. Welcome. This is a character whose vision is very clear to him, whose objectives are not in question. This is an entity who deals in a very black and white way of looking at the world, and we were very lucky to be able to get Majitsu Yini to bring it to life in such a spectacular way. And eventually, we had a Jacob Ayana who stepped in for additional photography. He's a very compelling villain, kind of like a devil on the shoulder of Adam in this guy's that he has found 